very excited that the future of the University of Pittsburgh will include membership in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Uh, and I do want to repeat the thanks that I extended earlier today uh, to ACC Commissioner John Swafford, uh, to uh, the members of his staff, to Duke University President Richard Broadhead, uh, and the other members of the ACC Council of Presidents, uh, to the ACC Expansion Committee, uh, and to the ACC Athletic Directors and everyone else who worked to make this possible. I also want to thank Commissioner John Marinato and the Big East for providing the University of Pittsburgh with a conference home for nearly 30 years. Uh, it has been a good home. Uh, it's been a home that we have worked hard to make even better. The ACC, Pitt, and Syracuse all are committed to making this period of transition as smooth as it possibly can be. Uh, those of us who lead enduring institutions like the University of Pittsburgh have special stewardship responsibilities. Uh, put in somewhat more specific terms, uh, Pitt has been a leader in education in this region for nearly 225 years, uh, and we need to make certain that the university is effectively positioned to deliver its academic mission uh, for another 225 years. Uh, we've been playing football for more than 120 years. Uh, we have built what is widely acknowledged to be a truly elite men's basketball program uh, and have been a force in other sports for decades. Uh, again, we need to make certain that we have a secure long-term home for all of those sports, uh, not only for our fans, but also for the young men and women uh, who will compete in them in the years ahead. From Pitt's perspective, looking into the future, the ACC really is a perfect conference home. Uh, in fact, we already have many strong links to the ACC community. Uh, certainly, that is true on the academic side. 